So first off, the definition of disaster. A disaster is a serious disruption of the functioning of a community or a society. It then causes widespread human, material, economic, and environmental losses. And these losses exceed the ability of the affected community or society to cope using its own resources. Disasters are caused by hazards and vulnerabilities when these two things mix and come together. So let's talk about each one and then we'll take a little bit deeper dive into that mixture, that convergence. So first off, the definition of a hazard. A hazard is a dangerous phenomenon, a substance or a human activity or condition that may cause loss of life, injury, or other health impacts. And those are what we're concerned about in this particular series. Also, it causes property damage. It can cause loss of livelihoods and services. It can cause social and economic disruption or even environmental damage. Examples of hazards in particular include floods and radiation or chemical spills, earthquakes, typhoons, outbreaks, and tornadoes. These are all hazards. Even though we've used those words to describe the disaster itself, it's different. And I like to give this example. When we're talking about, for example, a tropical cyclone. Now, a tropical cyclone, it's the same thing as a typhoon and a hurricane. It's just named differently in area, different areas of the world. So if a tropical cyclone were to occur in the ocean, and it never went across a, uh, an island where people live, it would only be a hazard. It's only when the tropical cyclone meets a vulnerable population and the hazard and the vulnerability come together, that's what creates the disaster. So I wanted to separate the idea of hazards from the idea of disasters. A little different, that subtlety you'll learn more about as we go through the rest of this seminar. So I mentioned disasters are caused by this hazard and uh, vulnerability mix. Let's talk about the definition of vulnerability. So according to the UN, the definition of vulnerability is the characteristics and circumstances of a community or a person that may make them more susceptible to the damaging effects of a hazard. So example, not all people have the same level of vulnerability. Some people may be more vulnerable to the exact same thing because of their age, their gender, disability, or a host of other factors.